Welcome back! In the previous video, we said that an interest rate can be interpreted as a required rate of return, a discount rate, and as an opportunity cost. We also went through an example to help you understand the required rate of return interpretation. Now let's move on to the second interpretation, that of the discount rate, and illustrate it with an example as well. Actually, we've already seen this in the past, so it should be easy to understand. Assume that the bank that I'm doing business with offers an annual interest rate of 5%, which I denote here with I. So far, we've been denoting the interest rate with R. I is another notation for the interest rate, and I'm using it over here because I believe it's important for you to be familiar with the different notations, so that you don't get confused when you come across them. Continuing with our example, Assume that I will need $10,000 in 3 years' time, for whatever reason. Say that I will go to college in 3 years, and $10,000 is the college tuition fee I will need to pay. And this $10,000 can be interpreted as the future value at time 3. After what we covered so far, I'm hoping that you can automatically make these associations. When you see an amount in time 3, you immediately think future value at time 3. Below, you can also see our data represented on a timeline. So how much do I need to deposit today at the 5% interest rate in order for that amount to grow to $10,000 in 3 years? And what's going on right now is great, simply because it allows us to connect the dots by relating this to something we mentioned in the past, and it's scientifically proven that whenever you make this type of associations, whenever you connect the dots, you are putting your brain in a position to better remember things. So what is the amount I need to invest today, to deposit today, in order for that amount to grow to $10,000 in 3 years time? The amount that will grow to $10,000 in 3 years time is the present value of those $10,000 resting in year 3. And we made this explicit in the introduction to the present value and future value set of videos, specifically in the third part of those videos. There we said that the calculation of the present value gives an answer to the question, what amount would I need to invest today in order for that amount to grow to a specified value in the future? And this is exactly what we need to do over here. We need to calculate the present value to answer that question. Moving on to the solution, we will obviously apply our present value formula. We just need to discount the 10,000 by the 5% interest rate for 3 years. And since we are purely engaging in a discounting process in order to arrive at an answer for this problem of ours, that's why the interest rate of 5% is interpreted as the discount rate in this case. Notice that I'm using the I notation for the interest rate in our formula to be consistent with the notation used before. So the present value equals 10,000 over 1.05 to the third power, which equals $8,638.38 rounded to two decimals. And this $8,638.38 is just the equivalent amount of the 10,000 in year 3, expressing today's terms in today's dollars. In the following video, we will deal with our third and final interest rate interpretation, the opportunity cost one.